right, so let me move this over here so you can see. All right, uh, in that case, uh, have a good game. And as we play, we shall uh, also chat a little bit. Sure. Let's get going. Yeah. Have a nice game. All right. Uh, Onigashimas. Oh. Hope they'll get wrecked. All right. Uh, so I'm playing as white. Uh, yeah. Oh, people can hear him fine. That's great. Um, yeah. I just, just saying. I'm in great. Like, I'm in great spirits now. Just won the last game. Ten. Like you, you, <laughs> you, 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 you don't even know. Like I lost like the previous five in a row. It's not even. I saw five. that uh, win record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh. So um. Well, I guess the first question to start with um. Like, how did you? Uh, learn go. Like, how do you get started? Uh, well, uh, maybe 15 years back? No, I will start from... I was about 15, 16. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just picked up uh, Ikaru no Go manga. I had never heard about the game. But, so, uh, you really enjoy like anime uh as a kid uh, not really i think it was like my first no second anime like i read hunter x hunter and then like a little bit of hunter x hunter and then i, I don't know someone recommended me this one completely randomly <laughs> yeah so uh so that that the anime was the real driving force that like uh like made you want to study go um no not study not even close at that point i mean i just I was interested, like, I even nine, got through, like, eight, half of it before even seven. thinking about finding out what Go was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, um, and then I just, <coughs> excuse me, and then I just, like, found KGS online somehow and started uh, yeah. just playing as a 30Q, just right. putting down moves randomly. And then I slowly, slowly picked it up. Um, how do I say? I mean, I actually well, slowly picked up. I improved really fast at the beginning. Yeah. But, and then after I just like capped at three done, I like six months to three done, and then I stayed Ten, there for years. <laughs> nine, eight, seven. I see. Uh, six, five. So how do you get to like four, the current level though? Three, it's, it's... Two, one. Oh, I don't know where to point. All right, let, let me just go. <laughs> okay. Um. So, but like, st still, uh. To get to like close to like six dawn, right? Six dawn NGA, and uh, like to be strong enough for the pro calls, it, it must be some. Uh, it, it's some kind of remarkable achievement, right? So, like after a certain point, ten, just like blitzing nine, and playing eight, casual games seven, online is not going to help six, you improve. You five, actually have to just sit down and four, study yeah. the game, put three, a lot of hours into it. Two, and I did one. that a few times. Yeah. Um, first time when I came to study here in Korea. So that was three years back, I came for four months. Uh huh. And um, so that, that really helped a lot. You, you just study, in a, I'm studying here at Biba, it's called the Black International Ballet yeah, yeah. Academy. And you just put down in like 10, 10 hours a day. Nine, wow. Every six eight, days. Eight, seven. And that really helps sharpen the game. So uh, yeah, by the way, if uh, those of you watching want to ask many questions, please feel free. And uh, this is a, an open conversation here. Um, but yeah, it, ten hours a day. It sounds like a lot of go. So what what kind of what happens every day? Like, I'm curious about what the schedule is ten, like. Nine. So you wake eight, up and you have seven, your free six, time where you five, can choose, or four, your teacher will recommend three. what you should study in, and you'll work on that. So that will be mostly um, so between ten and one o'clock. So you have a good three hours, depending yeah. how early you wake up. Usually nine to one, yeah. and then um, by the way, I'm just like uh, I'm just like playing like shit now. So like, don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all, it's it's not easy to yeah to comment and uh, and play the same time. It's first time while. Yeah. So yeah, are you really gonna cut me here? Uh. <laughs> well, I could, except I would, my white stones are just like ripping pieces. Yeah. Ten. Uh, nine, uh, so yeah, eight, so the first from seven, ten to one, the first three six, hours you can five, uh, four, pretty much focus three, what you want. A lot of times two, I'll do either life and one. death or do. Oh, uh, yo! Uh, 
<laughs> I probably just lost the game right there, but who cares? Uh, all right. Oh, wow. Um. So and then, so yeah, from one to two, you'll probably go grab some to eat, lunch, and then usually around one and two, the teachers will come 10, in. So like we, yeah, uh, uh, some other pros seven, I'm going to be sitting. Six, five, and four, we play league games and we study them together. And, and then so, you get, yeah, so, go ahead. So you get to play like uh, against like other players, well as like uh, coming to be able to just, like study go. Or like, uh, not necessarily nine, because we might not eight, be at the same like seven, level of strength. Right. But what is good about it is that there's a a Korean school like attached to Biba, so like we're joined. Yeah. So they'll always have Korean kids at your level. Oh. <laughs> Ten. Yeah. Nine. Eight. So you always have good seven, practice partners. Six. Nice. Five. That's nice. I mean, uh, how would you describe like going Korea? Because I I think uh it's one of the I, I think it has to be the uh, country that values like go the most, right? At the moment, like is up there. Is um, something up there with like uh, like China and Japan? Up there with of, China. More than Japan, I would say nowadays. I I mean, in the sense that Japan, I don't think any young players really. Ten, it's not as popular. Nine, from what I've eight. known, I have never been to Japan. From what I hear, at least. Yeah. So, but uh, but from what I heard, there's like a huge Paduk culture right in korea yeah definitely all right so uh yeah. as we speak i'm just like completely they, they, they have those like 24 hour baduk tv channel something you won't yeah. really see here but it was certainly but like ha ha uh, has there been like any moments like when you just feel like oh i'm tired of this uh this is like too much go for me has that ever happened uh, or you just never really, get tired but, of I mean, it. Like those day, I, you might, might have that day. Like you, you're not playing well. You, you're losing. Let's say. Yeah. Then yeah, sure. I guess you'll have that that feeling. But oh my god, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, but yeah, like there, there, then like uh, some of the days uh, when we just don't play as well. Yeah. Well, it's. It's, what, I mean, when you're Ten, when you're studying full time like nine, this, at eight, some point, like you seven, you might have to like six, you feel like it's a chore, five, but that yeah. that doesn't really last long. Three, and if it lasts too long, two, then maybe it's not one. what's for you. Right. Oh, dang it! Ah, uh, well, I guess it's not getting over for me yet. But uh, yeah, I I, I feel like. Uh, for me personally, sometimes when I just don't uh, seem to like reach anywhere, Ten, uh, I nine, feel like it's like a eight. chore. Okay. And so, so sometimes, I, sometimes I feel like, oh, what I what I'm even here for, right? Because I'm just like I'm not getting any better. But um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm. I mean, we, we, we all, we've all had like moments like that, but. Um, but I I guess it's great that uh you have like access to like pro teachers Ten, every day. Nine. Yeah. That kind of thing really helps. It's a big Seven, difference. Six, like if you, if you have a five, if you have a question, they answer you right away. Three, two. Knowing one. that it's like always right <laughs> what they're yeah. saying. All right. Oh man. This is not. Uh, uh what do I do? <laughs> Yeah, I'm. Uh, rip. Uh, somebody's gonna die. Yeah, exactly. Come on, Uh, well, not this corner. I hope not. No. <laughs> but uh, so what? What, what, what kind of things do you do like besides go? Because you have like lots of free nine, time. Eight. Or maybe so, free time. Um, in the winter, six, not so much five, sports, but usually four, like when it's nicer three, weather. So. Two, but the winter here only one. lasts like two, three months. It's not like Canada in that sense. Yeah. And um, so we definitely do a lot of sports at least a few times a week. It could be tennis, it could be uh, soccer, volleyball, which is quite popular here in Korea. Oh, yeah? Cool. Soccer, volleyball is pretty fun. Ten, um, nine, what eight, are badminton sometimes. Seven, but yeah, mostly six, tennis and soccer, five, volleyball. Four, three, yeah. we'll, we'll go two, play as a group, which one. is always fun. All right, I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, so, uh... 
Ah, I have two weak groups. Awesome. Uh, what am I doing? Ten. Uh, nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Um, two. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, I, I guess it's nice that you're enjoying, like, a, ba a good balance between, like, Go and, like, other activities. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You can't, I mean, even um, professional players, Ten, when they're studying nine, very seriously eight, Go, yeah. they'll, seven, like, they'll, like, six, run five, or, like, exercise, four, like, almost 10 kilometers daily or 5, 6 kilometers daily. That's how important it is to, like, your body yeah be fit. right right it's super important yeah it's it's also like in it just yeah it just makes you more fit and go sometimes go is a uh, like most of the times it's a sport that requires you to be very durable Ten, in those nine, long yeah, endurance eight, is super important seven, for sure six yeah five four and three Two, yeah, one. I, I think that's something I need to work on because I don't really work out on the weekends. <laughs> yeah, you, you and me both. <laughs> I feel like it's just like too cold right now to do sports, but then again, I'm like south of Canada, so what, why am I complaining? <laughs> Ten. <laughs> nine, Canada is pretty eight, warm these days, I hear. Seven, I mean, six. This year, five, this year it was. Four. Yeah. Three. Two. Almost One. creepy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what, when I visited for uh, for Christmas, yeah, it was like 15, 16 degrees. There was no snow. First time I seen no snow during Christmas. That's that's like ten. That's nine, 15, 16 eight, degrees is like warm for you. Seven, six. It's super warm. Five, four. <laughs> really, really three. warm. Yeah, right now I think. Uh, but I mean, we have Celsius. You guys have Fahrenheit. Like it's very different. Oh wait, fifteen degrees Celsius. Yeah, yeah, this is super warm. Right? Oh my god, I think your Celsius is actually like red, red, like, oh. Yeah, I see. I was like, 50 degrees Fahrenheit is like warm for you? <laughs> yeah, that's probably cold. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what Ten, the, the translation nine, to that. Eight, Celsius might be. Yeah. Seven, six, like, it's not linear, five, is it? Four, three, it's not, it's, two, it's, I think, one. Yeah, it's. Uh, you, you have to like uh, c convert. Yeah, okay. by like a linear equation, so. Right. Ten, nine, oh, I don't, I don't eight, know what to do, I don't, don't seven, uh, stop six, yelling at me! Five, four, eh. three. Alright. I just lost like two periods out there. <laughs> oh my god, this game. <laughs> Ten. Nine, eight, seven. I'm not. I'm not even mad anymore. Like, five, four. I'm three, not even mad. Two. <laughs> like it's it's so bad. It's good. Cutting. At least I need to make my groups like connected, right? At this point, I don't want to die. <laughs> then again, all my points are gone. So, hooray. Fantastic. Oh, okay. Um. All right. I don't have points. Uh, cool. And also have a weak group. Uh. Yeah. Ten, nine, eight. All right. Let's yolo. Always. Uh. Ten, nine. I try so hard. I don't feel so Uh. Ten. Alright, so the only hope we have is we, if we like expand a center in, in the most like. Uh. Primitive don't way die. possible. Don't die in the bottom. Ten. Nine. Eight. Right, which is what seven. I'm trying to. Also focus on, but oh well. Um, what was your? I guess what? Uh, I mean, we talked about pro calls earlier. What would you say was your most like memorable game, or the one you 
like liked the most? Oh, like the most, well, most yeah. memorable was maybe Eight. my first game against Seven. Germany. Like I was Six. completely still in Five. part. Four. Well, I don't know Three. party mode, but like vacation mode. Like I'd come oh, back from part. serious, serious studying in Korea. Yeah, and then suddenly, um, I get slapped by <laughs> by Jeremy. I I got completely crushed that game, and then and I was just playing like Ten. almost uh, just like for fun go. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that day I, I woke up after that. Were, but, were you uh, were you like uh, blitzing? Or was, uh, well, not not so much nine, blitzing as like it, it felt almost like I was playing casual. <laughs> yeah, like right now. Which obviously it doesn't make sense. But uh, uh, so so how do you feel after that? So uh, like. Oh, all right. I got. I gotta play like. Uh, I felt really bad because like right after that. Yeah. Okay. Ten, I won. I won my game nine, after that. So I'm like, okay, eight, yeah, I'm bad. Like, seven, everything's okay. It's not six, not too bad. Five. And yeah. then uh, Four, and then I lost three. three really important games in a row. Aww. And all three of those games, I should have won. In the sense that, until wow. the end game, or I was, I was, I was really ahead. Uh, it, the first game was against Eric. I was leading maybe ten, 10 points, nine, and I really eight, should never have lost that in the seven, end game. And six, then I felt five, so bad that I went four, to lose a game three, by twenty. I was leading two. by twenty points later against Ben. And you lost which, that too. Yeah, and I was leading about twenty points before the end game. And then the day after, in the morning, I played Sarah, and ten, I was winning maybe nine. fifty points. Oh. <laughs> When I played a, a really careless mistake, it was horrendous, to say the least. Yeah, uh, I won the game after that, but uh, it, Ten, the round robin is like deceiving eight, because you think it's uh, seven, not so important. Six, I always have five, the elimination, mm, but it's four, it's super important because in two, a best of three, starting one. up one win, it's a big deal. Yeah, and then I had my last chance against Aaron. And that was actually a really important game because the way the pairings worked out, if I had mm -hmm. won that game, mm -hmm. then um, if I had won that game, then I would be facing probably Aaron again and I would be up again. And then in the semifinals, I would probably, the semi, yeah, semifinals, I would probably face Ten, Daniel, which I had won again. Nine, so yeah, if eight, I had actually won seven, that one game, six, just the five, way the pairing worked out four, and being lucky, three, it could have worked out really well for me. Yeah. But uh, I played pretty badly that game. But I mean, it's st still like we said before, it's a, it's a it's a tough field, and right. But I I don't know. I I felt pretty confident. I mean, the opponent. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. You know what? I lost. I lost. All right, GG. <laughs> um. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, well, thanks for game. It's talking too much. Um. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was trying to like my eyes were like drifting through the OBS screen or whatever. <laughs> but um yeah, I mean I mean it's definitely uh I mean they're both strong players and I guess at this level it only it's only like between two three points each game, right? Well it should be. But uh my mistakes that I made are really like I can't be making those mistakes at that level, so I should yeah. just find a way. I don't know if it was the jet lag or lack of focus towards the end, but I can't really play at the level if I'm making those mistakes. So yeah. hopefully um, next year I'll try and do much better. Alright, very cool. Let's review the game, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> oh my <Sure>. god. <sighs> I, I think I think I was just like, my, my pressure was like completely taken off after I won that. So <laughs> you're too happy of having won that yeah. game. Uh, no, like yeah, this this I I was I wasn't even thinking about winning. I was I was like maybe we'll do a good old go talk style interview because like <laughs> there, there's this guy whose name is Kevin Huang, right? And he would so he would do like he would interview people like okay. as as like uh while playing a game with them. Sure. Except like the way he did it, he didn't. He probably didn't time the games. Well, okay. like I, I, uh, like ours was like twenty seconds per move. So I was like, oh, 
it's a little bit harder. Yeah, also I'm weak. Uh, anyways, uh, you play as uh, black. I think I should give you the control. Sure. It's actually kind of funny because uh, OG has voice controls. Uh, the I mean, the audio is not exactly fixed yet, but there's actually there actually are two options that say like give voice and remove voice. Okay. Which sound really like, you know, like remove voice. Uh, approaching here at the top yeah. right is not so popular because the pincer works well with Black's framework at the bottom. I see. So almost everybody would split. Almost um, everybody would split. I actually was told uh, a while ago that uh, that was like not popular. <laughs> with splitting the, with, is not popular? Splitting is not popular with the micro Chinese. That's what I was told. Uh, everybody, all the close players nowadays, we play like this, like this. Yeah, so so I'm actually okay. I'm actually not very familiar with like the uh, the sequence is after this, like with the micro Chinese. Uh, could you just like uh, show me what is going on? Sure. So they first started playing like this, right? And then you push here, like you want to block, but then White gets this nice. The, this nice oh. move at seven. So yeah. I mean, black shape is not bad, right? But right. The, the, it, white is really uh, strong. Wait, so. but uh, what if like black doesn't block at s four? What if like uh, pushes at q seven? Right. So they push first at q seven now. Yeah, yeah. And then if white pulls back, then black can block. Yeah. And then in the mini Chinese m three is all the way at l three, so the cut works. But when you have right. the M three, the, the point of the micro Chinese is wait, wait, can you show, uh, can you show the variation with the mini Chinese? Uh, my, yeah, can you show that one real quick? When with the with the mini Chinese? Yeah, yeah. So well, it's I'll, I'll just show this one with the micro Chinese, and I'll show that if the stones went further, it doesn't work. Uh, but. so you can actually like uh, so change in the review tools, uh, like switch okay. from alternate to like black, and just click on that M three stone, go away. It, in which tool, sorry? Uh, like, right, right, right beneath, like review by XH98, like the first button. Yeah. Like the half black, half white stone. Just click on that, and then click like black. Yeah. And then click on the M3 stone, go away. And then just put it like L3, yeah. And then you can like switch back to alternate. Okay. All right, oh. there we go. Uh, yeah. And I'll turn it white. <laughs> okay. Damn it. Yeah. If, if, all right. Cool. There we go. So. So this should die. Uh. Uh. Just simply. If white. Yeah. If white plays this. You really need to have the stone one move closer because you can't seal black uh, white in in any way, uh -huh. and everything. You don't. You never have a chance to take out his liberties. So right if, if if the stone's all the way at L three, yeah. So right now, like let's say if we block at N four, then White can actually like just bump at N three, then like get more liberties, right? Yeah. Right. He's even just alive. Okay. Yeah. Like even. But like now with the stone, uh, if we go at the previous variation with with the micro Chinese, that cut does not work. Right. So when it's mini Chinese and he cuts, then you're forced to utter it this way, and this is like super painful because your three stones are cut off. Yeah. And you still have the end game here in the corner. It it's it's quite bad. So. Go. Chinese. But now, yeah, do I have no, to put the stone back? Uh, just go back to the previous variation, yeah. All, all the other ones have like the black stone at M3, so it's only in that branch. Okay. But yeah, right now, so the, so the cut doesn't work. Now what? Right. So, yeah. So if white answers at 7, So yeah, that, uh, now that doesn't work, right? Because white doesn't have eye shape. Um, from what I remember, it was actually a crow. 
Wait, really? And then white hides this move at S1. You mm -hmm. can't answer here because then you, the way the, the liberty yeah. uh, the works, you, you have to come back and capture and then what used to be like a nice eye where you had a lot of uh, liberties, With suddenly you actually only have three liberties. So this is terrible. Yeah. So black has a nice response here at S2. Then white has this move. Mm-hmm. And then you play over here. And then here. So, yeah. You can do that. And this, um, so, if white tries to capture right away, then it's cleanly. Yeah. What is this? Wait, that, isn't that like psychic? Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while I haven't played this many times. Well, it's still wow. I I never thought this could be a variation. So Right, why well, can't play it right away? Alright, because that's the um so, so so black can still get yeah, black can still get that. Black still wins this one. Wow. So so the cut does not work for white after all. Because uh. black can like then is it this way that those are called? Yeah, I'm gonna have to review it later. All it's right. been a little while. Uh, yeah, I haven't yeah. looked at it. But like so what if white does not cut? What happens after? So if white doesn't cut, then he has to just use the Aji of the cut. Yeah. Like something like this. But and even black can just fix and then right, that white scoop is actually heavy and black is really thick. Right. So this was actually um the reason why is people started originally playing M3 instead of L3. Yeah. Because black can push at 6, and then white came up with a counter move at S4. And then the simple way is just to answer. Yeah. And then white answers. There's so, actually... So white gets really, a little bit more now? So white, yeah, white eats a little bit at, at blacks, and he has this his push that makes for a nice peep. In a nice cutting yeah, point, yeah. maybe, and he gets a bit more endgame, right? Yeah. But black can like fight. So just let let white take the corner. Um, it doesn't quite work out that way. It can, it makes for this really garbage call right at the beginning when no one has call threats. <laughs> so, so like no one really plays this variation. It's really complicated, and I think it goes up to like fifty moves. The official count. Oh the wait, way really? <gasps> oh, yeah, that's crazy. It. Because all the co threats are figured out, right? There's nothing else at this yeah. point. Yeah. Like there'll be this code later. Let's say. Yeah. But yeah, so there's there's this fighting just like you to to consider if you're gonna have if you're gonna play this variation. So like. White doesn't want to give S4, so he plays S4, but he has to know how to answer this move, pretty much. Yeah. Because Black has always this option. But let's assume both play home thing, yeah. let's say. Yeah. Um, White's not sure if he wants to make this exchange. But if White is scared of the S8, then he pushes here first. And then comes back. And that that he can get for sure, right? And this he'll get for sure. But the, the the thing is, some pros they're not sure if the seven for eight is a good exchange. 
I mean, there's a peep, right? But there's a peep, right? But let's say, um, so later you might want to like play at p4, and then I'll oh, just leave uh, that for later. Yeah. I mean, let's say you don't want to. You want that liberty, that stone, to have a liberty. Let's say. Yeah. In that sense. Oh, I see. So you you're not no one you're not completely sure and at pro level if you're not completely sure that an exchange is good you usually won't play it until you are because it's like kind of black's right right to make that exchange. Mm -hmm. So if we're further thinking to be forced to make that exchange just because you're scared of of R A usually not what's going to happen at that at that professional level. Oh, I see. So, so let's go back. But many, many times you'll see the exchange also. And, and then the biggest move is most likely here. Yeah. And you're aiming at C3. So when you have C3 and... So why like, needs to defend the corner, right? So why it's big to defend but he'll usually come here first. Right, because that's because like more urgent, I guess. If white defends, then black has really good shape. Yeah, and it's not, it's not clear if white can come in here, right? It's really risky. Yeah. So he'll come here. And then um, I believe the correct one is to just Tinuki. I see, but oh, it's I I didn't I didn't I didn't think. But Black if because with the peep, it's it's really dangerous for Black also to cut this way because suddenly his corner group is quite weak. Right. So if you if you and then once that happens, your move at fourteen loses a bit of bit of value, so you're kind of better off not playing there right now. Yeah. We're simply this variation, and then oh. they got tired of this one. So, <laughs> so, uh, so white, white wasn't R6? as sat right. White wasn't as satisfied, so they played R six, and then they played like this. Play that immediately. Immediately push. Yeah, immediately peep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, this was probably shown to me like sometime. Earlier this did. year, then I didn't remember. <laughs> I, yeah, I there. I remember someone showed me this. And the variation was, I believe, this is exchanged right away. In this case, yeah. And there was something along these lines. Oh my god! But it was figured out that late, like you need to make the eight, nine, ten, eleven exchange. But the exchange is actually not good at the end of the variation. So, but black can't get away with not making the exchange. So, I mean, sorry, white can't, um, at the end of the variation, white doesn't want to have those stones. So white doesn't actually want to keep right away. I see. So instead of peeping. Just play elsewhere, yeah. Nowadays he comes here. Oh yeah, was wasn't that the uh, the Kuzia versus Shu game? Right. So um, the top players really like uh, really like this uh, this opening now. So you don't you don't exchange this now because later you might want to clamp. Yeah. So in many games you want to, and then you attach here. White bumps and attacks this stone. Yeah. And recently. Um, white has actually been extending here. Yeah. Lisa Dull has played it. Uh, Shiwe has played it. But the the, the more common one has been um, you you kick the stone here, and it's an exchange, right? Yeah. That's quite fascinating. Yeah. And black can approach this area over here. It's but white gets really, black has really good shape, and this is a pretty common opening.
I see. So what um, usually like, uh, like ends up like spl splitting an R10 instead of uh, approaching an R14? Yeah. Right, R10 is is a more common. Uh, I see. With the mini and micro Chinese. It's a nice mini lecture. Uh, well, yeah, we have about ten minutes left. Uh, let's uh, maybe talk about the rest of the game. Sure. But yeah, play this. We're not. I'm not sure. This, uh, this might be overplayed for me. This should be thick, and oh. it goes well with a strategy at the bottom. Maybe you can play something like this. Yeah, so I wasn't sure if I should like follow, but I didn't want you to like jump in. This is a little painful. Because, I mean, usually your black wants to play this way, right? Yeah. But the way well, it works, can, uh Right, I think. You want to extend. Yeah, so this is too painful. So I should immediately honey. Maybe I have to come back. And then this is, I, I believe, a, a good exchange. Because you kind of like broke my shape. Yeah, yeah. Come back and do something like this. Because I was wondering, like, uh, how do you, uh, like, some effect or, like, pre pre prevent you from getting uh, too much on the bottom right? So, okay. um, yeah, I, I didn't see, I didn't see a Q7, I guess. And even this has almost a center feeling, right? I mean, probably not, but later on, like, there's a lot of IG in my shape at the top. Yeah. So, so yeah, I, I believe Q18 is a mistake. I should just play safely here because... Because you approach the top right, I have like the pincer. It works really well with my bottom. Uh, so I think I think I really like Black's framework over here. Yeah, I should part play this way. So I, I come back and fix right away because I, I got scared. <laughs> <laughs> it looks nice. But th this well, is well, nice. Well, why would you be scared of me? <laughs> I mean, I got scared. Of, maybe it's more common to split here. Uh. Oh, I see. Because uh, you have a follow, a better follow up move against this stone here. I, I was wondering about that because, but like, doesn't that invite Black to defend the corner? Uh, like uh, the M five move. Like this. Yeah. But you, you to, right, this with the framework that Black has, the corner points aren't as big. Like if you giant jump into the corner, then I will. I don't. I don't care so much as corner points as the overall situation. Yeah, it's case. like attack, right? Spin attack. So it feels like H four is a little bit close and doesn't have much of like, like it's not sure if you're attacking. Like I almost feel like I'm attacking you now. Right. So because I pins are like too tightly. Yeah. Like uh, the the H four, like you're jumping one space, but you don't really have a move. Right. I don't know. It feels like the relationship against M three is not as strictly, it's not as powerful against M three. But most usually when I, I'll see a move here, it'll be at J three, the white stone. Because uh, you're not attacking, you're not attacking the black stones more severely by being that much closer. I see. I don't. Believe. And you seem to have a bit less power against the M three stone. Right. This is good. I mean, I was... I, I was trying to see what I could do there to prevent me from getting the lower right. So. Can you play here directly? Uh, Seems fine. What if you... Um, Wait, um, what do you play at like M5? What if I play M5? Yeah. When? Uh, like right now. No, 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 after, after white, if, if, if white caps at M5. Okay, yeah. N5, you mean? Yeah. Oh, I heard M5. 
Uh, I feel I feel pretty comfortable as white here. So I, I'm not sure how black would play here, but uh, I'm definitely happy as white. So black has to maybe find something. No, this feels pretty severe. Hmm. Huh. I guess I have to jump. Yeah, Q6 is pretty short-sighted. Yeah, that seems like a that feels like a better move because, and I now have like two weak groups to worry about. Yeah. I mean, your your three stones are are really light and not. I wouldn't consider them a weak group. You have so many options, but yeah, I think this is a, a better way to to approach the attack. Yeah. So for right now, uh, uh, maybe we can talk about like later in the game because this uh can work out. So, uh, like, what was the losing move, you would say? Losing move? I almost want to come back here. Yeah. I mean, this is... That's big also. I when I played there I didn't realize you had like C twelve. When you played here. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, my group at the bottom is fine, so And and that and that left me in a really tough spot. Because if right now if I try to split then like you're all connected, so I'm just like letting you Take all I mean, all, 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 already white has no points, right? Yeah. There's Ajin here, right? I, I was really worried about this move. Uh, you can block, right? And block. I didn't. I didn't think there was anything there. This way? Uh Oh, wait, what? <sighs> Didn't see a wedge. Maybe here right now. Well, maybe not wedge right now because you can, yeah, I can connect and like take the stone, I guess. But yeah, there's still this. So I, I mean, my shape was really bad. So did I miss something really severe? Yeah, I think I think I was pretty worried about this one. Okay. So maybe when you have, maybe I'll, that, I mean, this shape with the two tiny points is really bad shape. Yeah, maybe that was my last chance. I because I, I felt like pretty. I was yeah, like, because black black was really greedy, and taking all those points on the right side. Yeah. And you never punished, and actually instead of punishing, I I did a splitting attack somehow. Yeah. But then uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the game. And also you lost points here. Yeah. It's pretty good. I, I played uh, really well, I think. And well, this was the blitz, so I, I'm not i not be so hard on myself. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, it, uh, this speed, it's just uh, your first feeling and your intuition. You don't really have time to to think about it. And really, what's the most important go is being a, having to think about uh, every move, pretty much. Yeah. Putting the thought into every move. Well, yeah, this was uh, this was really fun. I I enjoyed it, and especially like sure. uh, when we talked about the game, there I didn't realize there were so many variations. 
Uh, oh, in, in the opening, you'd be surprised with how many, like the history oh, of how it changes. Yeah, it's crazy. So, but, but they find they find that one exchange is not good anymore, so they'll switch back to another. It's really interesting stuff. I mean, I guess it's this kind of stuff that you see every day, ten ten hours. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. All right. Well, uh, uh, the uh, AJ stream, uh. With uh, me one kin, not a professional on the uh, bot game is are uh, is starting soon. So are you going to watch that? Stay around. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, it's pretty cool. All right. Well, uh, in that case, uh, I'm gonna redirect to the US Go Web channel. But uh, thank you guys so much for coming today. Uh, this is a really fun stream, and uh, I will see you guys next week. I'll upload those videos soon. I still have like a lot overdue, but <laughs> um, yeah. Thanks, man, for joining. Um, it was my pleasure. Yeah. Nice uh, ho hopefully everyone uh, knows it better now. And uh, yeah, I'm going to log off now and host the USB web. All right. I'll see you guys right, next week. You. Peace.